Hi, my name is Rodrigo Kamein. I'm a software developer with Saber Travel Network. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a workflow extension Red App consuming the NPNR workflow. The NPNR workflow will allow us to halt the end process and include some business logic in our application before the PNR is ended. To see all the documentation available for our workflows, please refer to our help guide in the Red App SDK package. This is under the folder documentation index.html. Under exposed workflow extension points, you have the list of all available extension points. We will be making use of this extension point before end command, before the PNR is ended. In our sample project, our first step will be to go to the Dependencies tab and include the following dependencies. com.saber.edge.dynamo.cdm and com.saber.edge.dynamo.ext.cdm. Our next step is to create a package in our project, in my case, NPNR service. This package is going to have one interface. Our interface has a single method, execute, that returns the following object, flow extent point command, and also receives the same object, flow extent point command. This interface defines all workflow extensions that you can consume in Saber Red. Our next step is to create a class that consumes the same interface. In my example, npnr service imp as an implementation is going to implement the interface shown previously. Our following step is to map in our plugin XML file the configuration for the NPNR workflow extension. This is done by adding the following extension point com.saber.edge.dynamo.flow.flow extent point dot registry and adding a new element flow extension point the following details need to be gathered from our documentation our flow ID is going to be dynamo.pnr.end. Our extension point ID is going to be before end command, before the PNR is ended. Our callback service is going to be the fully qualified name of our interface. In my case, npnr service dot npnr service, colon, the name of the function that's exposed by the interface. In my case, execute. Our next step is to take this configuration and map it in the following file. We need to create a folder named osgi-inf and create the following file. The name of the file is for your reference. It can have any name. In my example, npnrservice.xml. This file will contain a name, an implementation class. This is the class that's implementing my interface. As we have just seen, this is npnr service dot npnr service imp. And our interface is the interface exposing the service. npnr service dot npnr service. Once this file is successfully created, we need to tell the manifest of our project to look for the file, to look for the service configuration. This is done by adding the following tag, service component, colon, and the path to our file. In our case, osgi-inf backslash npnr service dot xml. The PNR workflow extension exposes two data models. A Red App transaction request 
and a read up travel itinerary read response. This last data model is based on the travel itinerary read web service. Please check Developer Studio for more information about this web service. If the configuration is mapped correctly, when Saber-RED executes the NPNR flow, our NPNR service implementation class will execute this method, execute, and will receive an extension point command by parameter. This extension point command object should have a red app travel itinerary read response object available, and this is the current PNR that is on screen. In our example, we are checking if the PNR response is not null, if it does not have any remarks, we will not let the PNR end. And this is done in the following code. I am getting a reference to a red app end transaction request. This object, red app end transaction request, has a single method, set retrieve PNR. When set to false, this will not let the current PNR end. We then need to get a, not, a reference to flow extension request wrapper and set its operation to modify. After we return the extension point command that we received originally as a parameter, this should send the red app transaction request with a value of false. So it will not let the, end, the PNR end if there are no remarks in the current PNR. I've displayed a PNR on my Sabre screen that has no remarks. I will now try to end the PNR. And our workflow extension will prevent it from ending because our logic was triggered, validating that there are no remarks and setting a value to false. I have now added a remark on my PNR, and I will try to end the record. And our record is ending successfully. This is a small example of how you can build business logic before the PNR ends, such as a file finishing logic or looking for a DK number. This has been the workflow extension and PNR workflow tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and see you next time.